Hello. Sorry, I'm just getting myself organised. Oh. Um, some strange chap on YouTube onto me that courts shouldn't have judges. I mean, they might not as well, though, because they're all bought and paid for anyway, but that's not the point. Um, it was, um, oh, bugger, I've forgotten the fucking ashtray. Bear with me, bear with me, crisis sorted. Um, it's these business bulk courts, you know, they just put the paperwork through. There's no legal personnel there at all. And people have actually found CCJs on their credit file, which they knew nothing about. Touch British justice today. <laughs> I've just about recovered from last night getting that letter. Of course, why would I go to court? Because the CPS have provided full disclosure, but, you know, they just make up the fucking rules as they go along, don't they? Sorry, old chap, but evidence which has been tampered with is not full disclosure, you know. Um, lovely little bit about Jason Abel. Well, not Jason Abel, but as such. The police crown commissioner needed a new deputy police crown commissioner. Um, because a bloke called Andy Coles, never heard of him, ex-copper of course, um, well I think it was when he was working undercover with the Met or something a few years ago, and his, his, his behaviour or his actions had been called into question, <laughs> funny that, um, so he had decided that he had to step down in light of these allegations. So the good news is, Jason Abelwhite is in the full and frank knowledge of 25 years worth of theft in the public purse and wishes to do nothing about it. Um, the good news is the, the, he he's gets to choose his own deputy, apparently. Um, does, there's nothing about any other runners as such. So this is a guy called Councillor Bisbee. Um, started in the military, joined the RUC. Well, all credit to you, mate. That's, that's not an easy gig. I've been to Belfast. Um, I probably met you when I was there, actually. Never mind. Um, and, of course, he, 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 oh, well, he moved to Peterborough in 2007 and became actively involved in voluntary work in the community, including becoming chairman of the local policing board. <laughs> I think it says somewhere... Uh, support the commissioner in his role to hold Cambridge Constabulary to account. Yeah, well, they do that very well, don't they? Every email you get back just says, um, the chief constable would not have been involved in this personally to this extent, or something like that. <laughs> there was a series of them for a while. And as we all know, the last police crime commissioner, Graham Bright, who I got rid of, um, he, was, he was good chums with the con chief constable. He was, yes. <sighs> I've taken some time in deciding who to offer this important position to. Oh, there we go. He does get to choose his deputy. No fucking democracy here. Fuck, move along now. Fuck off. Uh, I look forward to Ray joining me at a time of significant change within the police and across public services as a whole. Fuck's sake. Just get a room and shag each other. Councillor Bisbee added, I am delighted to be selected as Jason's preferred, ca preferred candidate to become his Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner. I think it said somebody's on the Police and Crime panel as well, but I can't find that bit now. Oh yes, there you go. He was elected Councillor for Stangrand South Ward in Peterborough 
He is also a member of the Police and Crime Panel. Yet another body that's supposed to sort of watch over the police. Like we're nearly into double figures, aren't we? PSD, IPCC, HMIC, Police and Crime Panel. Chairman of the local policing board. Does anyone know of any more? That's fine. And there's still a bunch of lying bastards. Um. So this guy, you know, he's got his bread buttered on the right side, and he? he he knows all the tricks. He's slid into all the fucking positions. Well, I'm sure if you do become assistant to police crime commissioner, councillor Bisbee, you will be notified of 25 years worth of theft from the public purse by myself. A glowing article in the paper, of course. Glowing. Glowing, just glowing. Good. Uh, listen, they've resurfaced to lay by. Thursday, Friday it was, and my mates are wages now. Um, and if, well, it looks a lot better than it was. But then they had to take liability for it at some point, really, didn't they? So all those ones that denied it was theirs first from County Council are all now guilty of misconduct in public office. Oops. Keep it going, guys. Let's see where we head.